Hi guys, so a lot quieter than normal. Um, we will start with a broadcast section that's got no embargo, followed by an embargo section after that, which I'll let you choose your own embargoes. No live tweeting during the broadcast section, please. Um, James, do you want to start us off? Thank you. Christian, um, the manager has mentioned previously the club needs to be patient with the process here. But how do you think this team can get closer to challenging for major trophies and getting that important consistency as well? Yes, uh, Antonio repeat uh, oftenly that we need patience and we need to work uh, hard and and I and we think uh, and uh, I think as well that we need time. It's not uh, the moment and it is not the time in the process to speak about uh, how we are close to to reach. Everyone can reach uh, a cup, everyone can a lot of teams in England can reach a, a, a cup like a, a EFL Cup or FA Cup. There are many teams that can do it, but uh, you cannot say before. Maybe only two clubs in England can say, but probably this year we can win something. We are not this type of club. We are a club that need to work hard, need to work with passion, need to have uh, around around us uh, a lot of uh, enthusiasm and we need to be uh, clear and use uh, our mind to try to reach a, 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 to win a competition so we can do it but we need time and we know very well that we are working well because last, last year uh, we improved a lot but we cannot say for sure we will win something. So, you mentioned the EFL Cup, there also has been talk of playing tomorrow. Um, that's a real opportunity to get silverware there, and that will be emphasised to the players. But every, every game we play, we want to win, and uh, our decision is in. Uh, we take our decision to, to try to win every game, and uh, um, we, we'll, uh, we will use uh, the best team to try to win. The game against Forest will be will not be uh, easy because we played against them uh, in starting in the season and they were tough. Was a tough game. They have a big squad because they have a lot of players with the similar qualities and they can use to make change like us and uh, to to don't drop the the level of uh, their team. So our expectation. Will be will be this. And some fans have been vocal, let's say, about the style of football the team is, is playing right now. With an argument, that it's not very attractive, maybe, to watch. What would you say to, to those particular critics? But I watch many games, and uh, in this particular last month, uh, it's not easy to find attractive football because. Uh, uh, many teams, uh, or maybe the best team uh, in uh, in this league, but in all the leagues in Europe, we are playing a lot, and sometimes you have to manage the energy. And every every teams has problem. in In the last five games, I didn't see a really an attractive football for everyone. Maybe only from teams that don't didn't play uh, Europe competitions. So. Uh, we can say uh, that because we know very well how difficult it is to manage the the energy in in the last month. So Liverpool has problem, uh, everyone has problem, and we play a, a great match, and we cannot say we 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 didn't play an attractive football uh, last game. We are happy. We maybe we we use a a, um, a particular time in the in the game, but. That's it for for everyone. This is for everyone. Okay. And how do you assess the club's sort of start of the season on the face of it, going into the World Cup break, going into the last 16 of the Champions League, covering the top four? Overall, the staff, the players, will they be happy? <laughs> Absolutely. I think everyone has to be happy at the moment. We, we need two games uh, to, to finish and to arrive... Uh, on, on our target, when, when started this season, 
in, if someone has a, a different idea, maybe was not was not good, was not uh, the right uh, the right uh, thought, because uh, now we are very happy. We are fourth in uh, in the league. We we reach and we progress in the Champions League like first, like first in the in our group stage. So, is a uh, is an important uh, uh, moment for everyone and to stay at this level or to try to increase the level. We need to work with passion and we need passion around us. Maybe if, if you think about Antonio. He lives with passion. He lives his job with passion, and everyone has to understand that. Also, a player and top player and top manager need to feel uh, enthusiasm around them. The last question for me on that point that you've made: there. Does the World Cup break come at a really good time for top in terms of hopefully being able to recharge batteries? Obviously, there are some players that will be involved in the top. Good time considering where you are right now. Uh, we are we are in a good time. We are in a good position in the league. We are in into the process and we are working hard. Uh, football is is difficult in football to speak about the future. You have to live the present, and the present is this. We have uh, to use uh, uh, our mind to think about uh, the game tomorrow games and the next game then we will enjoy the world cup hope hope and to hope that our players can play a good world cup and to save their their body and their and their their talent thank you Thanks. Mark. Hi, Christian. Uh, Harry Kane is starting every game so far for the top of the season does tomorrow present a good chance to maybe give him a, a rest uh, about tomorrow, the decision Antonio will take tomorrow because uh, it's too short to the last game uh, to analyze uh, which type of uh, energy all the players can can use in the next game. So I think that tomorrow morning we Antonio will speak with all the players and take uh, the right decision for for the team. But uh, it's an important game. It's an important competition, and uh, we want we want to win. Despite having played all of those games, Harry Harry's not the kind of player who asks for rest, is he? he? He wants to play tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> I, I I want to see Harry Kane every game. In uh, in is my personal uh, opinion, uh, but the decision is up to Antonio, not 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 to me. So, uh, but. I, I love football and I love to see talent player. Harry Kane is a talent player and in every competition my, I, I hope to see him uh, to play for Tottenham. It's a difficult balance with, with a lot of players that are going to go to, to Qatar to play in the World Cup. But for a club like Spurs and, and other Premier League clubs, when it comes to selecting a team, you can't really think about the World Cup. You have to do what you to Tottenham. Yeah, absolutely. We don't have to think about World Cup. It's not... Uh, our job, our job is to take care to our player, and to uh, to try to use them f to reach our target, and but also to save uh, the player. We we are not um, crazy. Uh, <laughs> we have to take the right decision with the player sometimes. Okay, Ali, finish the section. Please. And just to check any injury news. I think Richardson is back in the training. Doesn't he? Which Alison is back in training from yesterday, and we are very happy to see him again with us. And uh, he's an available player, uh, but thinking of that he has only two days training with the team. Is Dejan Kuzeski fit enough to start if you need him to? Uh, is it, Kuluzewski, we lose Kuluzewski from the national uh, break, international break, last international break. So it's a long time and we cannot say that Kuluzewski can play 90 minutes because uh, it's a long, a long time injury. So uh, 
we have to to be careful with our, with with this type of uh, injury. Can I ask you, you mentioned earlier about Antonio leading with passion, and it needs to feel enthusiasm around it. Obviously, you've worked with him at previous clubs. He maybe has, from the outside, a reputation that he doesn't stay at clubs too long. Being someone that's worked so closely with him, is Tottenham a club that he could maybe stay a bit longer at if he feels that enthusiasm around him? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but never, never, Antonio thought was, uh, or our, our thought was uh, uh, to stop a progress in the past. So, happened. But happened to everyone. So, but uh, thinking and uh, and passion, like uh, he used to to work with, uh, is uh, is so high. And for sure, his thinking is every time to do the best uh, with the club uh, he is working with. And so there is no a timing perfect. Is uh, about uh, um, a relation between him and and everyone around him so but uh, he thinks every time to to do the best for uh, the club uh, he works with in the past Spurs in this competition have used maybe some younger players they've given them an opportunity I know the fans certainly are maybe hoping we see at some point Jed Spence could this be a game where obviously he knows Nottingham Forest very well for our young player um, every game is the game because we trust and we we trust in them, but they are young player. And if uh, we think that uh, EFL Cup is uh, an important competition, we need players that are ready to play this type of game. It's a knockout game, and Jets Pets is, is one of them for sure because he work hard every day. But sometimes uh, they need time, and not uh, every player is, is the same. Sometimes uh, uh, some players that arrive from another league, uh, from championship, need more time to uh, to be ready. And but we are happy with Jed. Uh, we are we are really happy because he he works hard, but he need time. And we need to take the right decision for him. And sometimes with young player, you have to be careful because if you um, if you are hurry. To use this type of player, you can uh, create a problem on them. So, uh, when will be the right time? Uh, just when we play. Obviously, you work with him on the training pitches. I mean, what kind of things have you had to? Obviously, it is a big gap between this club and the championship. What specific things have you had to work with him, especially on? <laughs> when you when you played in championship. And your your step up is so big. There are a lot of things to work because uh, is uh, about uh, um, a lot of situation. It's not only uh, technical, tactical. No, because Jeff Spence uh, is working hard, and we are happy with him. But uh, when you when you can play in a club that okay, we can. Uh, Win or not win this game? Maybe we try the next time. But at this level, it's not possible. There is only one solution: win the game. And it is difficult for a young player or player that comes from another uh, uh, other competition uh, like championship to play under pressure and to be ready to play under under pressure. It's not about team, it's, it's about young player and different level of game. Okay, we'll end the broadcast section there and move on to the embargoed section, please. Um, Simon? Um, just, just on that.